What's up, everybody? Brandon here with Fold Up Games. You don't have to skip the intro because I'm already done with it. You saw the label of the video, you know what this is. I am reviewing Thomas Brush's Easy 3D Game Tutorial. Let's dive in! <laughs> so, here's the game world that you're going to end up making if you follow along with the tutorial, as you will if you do the tutorial. Um, too long, didn't watch the video. My summary of the whole thing is that I really enjoyed doing this. I thought it was really pleasant. Um, going along with Thomas, I thought it was like doing a Bob Ross painting. He was a pleasant instructor. Um, kind of really high level, uh, and it, if I had to give one knock against the video and the tutorial series, it's going to be that I think it gives you a false sense of accomplishment. Um, but let's go look at the pluses and look at uh, what's fun here again. As you can see, we have a really pretty kind of a game world here. I changed a few things from the tutorial because I decided to make a little bit of a bigger kind of play space. I let my, I let my character be floaty. Yay! Floaty character! Um, I added this lake and I added buildings. Um, but the neat thing about the tutorial is that it does give you the flexibility to do that kind of thing and to customize and to make it your own. What you're doing through most of the tutorial is doing asset flips and using pre-existing code blocks and things like that. So he's he's kind of showing you that it's possible to get in, get started, make games, and make a lot of progress without knowing everything. So he's, he's intentionally being encouraging, giving you a little bit of a lift and a bit of a boost of your confidence. As I said at the outset, my only knock is that I think it might be a little bit of a false sense of encouragement because you're not really gonna learn how to code. You're not gonna learn much aside from using the terrain editor. Um, in this, but it is worth doing for that and just to get accustomed to to the terrain editor and to moving around the unity um, And it does give you I think a nice platform to go and learn other things and to continue to build on your own This water for example, I added from Something else that I got so if you get accustomed to the idea of hitting the asset store and finding things and installing them from this tutorial then that would show you that, look, you can do other stuff that wasn't explicitly in the tutorial. Um, one thing I think that, I, I gotta say, I think that Thomas had done, that I, I didn't like that he had done, was the way he had done trees. He was really just placing them one at a time, and it was sort of silly, if you ask me, um, because Unity has part of the part of the terrain editor is painting trees. Um, so I went in and took the original tree model, and I added a collider to it, which was not part of the original tree model and was not part of the tutorial. I added a collider and made my own new prefab out of the tree so that you can actually bump into them. Uh, and then I painted them all into the world instead of just dropping them in. So if you're doing the tutorial, I would suggest that you veer off and do it that way. Um, also be aware that by default, the terrain is gonna be this really, really, really big space. Um, it looked to me like Thomas was using a smaller space um, you can change that in the settings for your terrain when you add it, but uh, yeah, by default it's going to be a huge play space and you might, like me, feel kind of obligated to fill it all up, which, which I did. I wound up filling it all up. Um, so I made a nice big area. The game kind of got a little bigger than I expected it to be by the time I was done, but it is nice uh, and I did like it. And look at this. This is very pretty. For somebody who, you know, is just learning to be able to get in here and make something that is just that pretty and that nice and to make a game start to finish, I, I think is a real win. Um, one other caveat on this, this tutorial I think is a lot more of a marketing tool for, for uh, Thomas and to get you onto the newsletter and to get you into more uh, formal classes and trainings with him. Not necessarily a bad thing, just be aware it is kind of a, a marketing tool you do get some value out of it. So I think that that's a fair exchange. So um, I would do a couple things different in the tutorial, but the lessons were really nice. The interface was nice. They, they were short, they were consumable, and you'll learn a lot of stuff. Um, anyway, so that's what I think. Nice tutorial. I would recommend it. I had a pleasant time doing it. Um, yeah. Thumbs up on my video, if you please. And a warm welcome to all my new subscribers and a thank you to everybody who's been here all along. I'm not trying to build a huge community, but it's still nice to have people appreciating stuff I do. Coming up next, I'm going to do some other tutorial reviews, and I'm going to show you the stuff that I've been learning and what I've been trying to do and how tutorials can help you to continue to learn and to continue growing in your learning journey in Unity. You guys be awesome. Have a great day. Bye now.